Global and Media Mode. Global Media Mode has two main sections. Global, where you can adjust settings that affect the entire instrument. For example, earlier we used Global to modify the polarity of the damper pedal. And Media, where you can save and load data such as programs, combis, and songs to an optional SD card. First, let's look at a few of the functions available in Global. Press Exit a few times to make sure we're on the basic page. On this first page, you can adjust the tuning and transpose of the entire keyboard. Page up to the System tab. As you've probably noticed, it's possible to save whether the drum track or ARPs are on or off for each program and combi. You can completely disable the ARPs, step sequencer, and drum track here. Page up to the Preferences tab. The parameters of Auto Power Off can be done here. Some global parameters need to be saved so they won't be reset when you turn the cross off and on. For example, the Auto Power Off setting. You save by pressing Function, selecting Right Global Setting, and pressing OK. Pressing OK again confirms the command. Press Function. I mentioned earlier that you can reload the factory data which is done here. You can choose what you want to load from this menu. By the way, this is where you can load the factory demos. Take a listen to them sometime to hear the amazing possibilities of your cross. We won't load anything in right now, so just press Exit twice. Now let's look at Media. First of all, notice that on this main global page there are three tabs, Basic, System, and Preferences. We could keep pressing Page Up to finally get to the Media page, or press Menu and scroll to the Media page. Press Exit. But a faster way is to hold down Exit and press Global Media, which always jumps you to the Media section of this mode. Media is where you can save and load data such as programs, combis, and songs to an optional SD card. The data is organized into different files. The two main ones are .pcg and .sng. PCG will have the program, combination, and global data, including the ARP patterns, drum track patterns, etc. SNG stands for Song, a file that stores all of the songs from sequencer mode. If you're following through this video from the beginning, you should still have your formatted SD card inserted. If you have jumped ahead, please check out the Audio In and Audio Recording chapter for information on using an SD card with the cross, or check out the PDF manuals. Press Function. Here you have access to Save All, or just Save PCG, or just Save the Sequencer data. Select Save All, press OK, and name it anything you like. Select OK, then OK to confirm. You'll see that it has created the two files we spoke of, .pcg and .sng. To load a file, select the file you want, for example, the SNG file. Press Function and select Load Selected. This gives you the option of clearing the memory and loading in the songs from the selected SNG file or appending the songs in the SNG file to songs already in memory. Keep it on Clear and press OK. Done. By the way, this Load Selected command is what you use to import WAV files into an audio song location. The WAV files need to be stereo, 48 or 44.1 kHz, and 16-bit. Once you load the WAV file, go to Audio Record Setup. Select the song, and if necessary, you can adjust the volume to match the other audio songs or the cross keyboard levels. By pressing Function, you can use Set Play Level to temporarily lower the playback volume of all the songs. This is reset when the cross is shut off. 
Using a just audio level does the volume attenuation processing of the selected song and creates a new song with the adjusted volume. This will be retained when the cross is shut off. At some point, you may want to transfer files between your SD card and your computer. When you insert your SD card into your computer, you'll notice there is a folder on it called Korg. Inside that is a folder called Cross. In the Cross folder, there is one folder called Audio and another called Data. Audio contains the folders of the files that were created when you used the audio recorder. Data contains all the PCG, SNG, WAV, and MIDI files you saved to the SD card. When moving files from your computer to your SD card, be sure they are placed in the correct subfolders. Press exit and go to combi mode. Well, that's it. I hope this helps to kickstart your cross experience. As I mentioned at the start, you can get additional detailed information from the PDF manuals that can be downloaded from Korg.com or your Korg distributor's website. You'll also find more resources for your cross, for example, free software. In addition to being an easy-to-use music workstation, the cross is also able to closely integrate with your computer. By connecting the cross to your computer via USB and using the free standalone Mac and PC compatible cross editor software, you can edit sounds and settings from your computer. A free plugin editor is also available, allowing complete control and editing of the cross from within your DAW, as if it was a plugin. The editor runs as VST, AU, or RTAS for maximum compatibility. You'll find details on this at Korg.com as well as your Korg distributor's website. Congratulations on purchasing an instrument that is perfect for performance and that not only inspires you, but gives you the tools to capture that inspiration, creating fresh new compositional possibilities. Korg Cross. You made the right choice.